with the towers to defend your area. Oh, it's three dollars. Wow. <laughs> you have the value. Uh, mm -hmm. Tower defense. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to like go and go through <laughs> my phone for some time, but it's okay. <laughs> You're, you're fine either way, uh, Luca, because we are live. Welcome back, everybody, to another game of D&D &D, where we play with these uh, sometimes psychopaths, sometimes not, to uh, hopefully kill some dragon worshippers. Where we last left off, we had left our wonderful sorcerer in a different land, possibly. They thought about him after they teleported, so they at least thought about him. Mm -hmm. um, then they went around, uh, we didn't have a rogue, so they went around looking for contacts, um, uh, found out Renador had posters posted about him around the docks, because apparently there was somebody that looked like him that was talking to children, and it was creepy, so people put wanted signs up. Then they went to the merchant quarter, where they found a merchant that had talked to, uh, our rogue and hired them, but didn't know that these are the people he hired. So that was a fun commotion. And then uh, we had a fun fight with a displacer beast. In which a lot of Vespoids had been summoned. And they survived though. And where we left off probably was with a long rest. Because I think they plan on going back and sleeping off the the pain and the death and everything. Yes. And then we will probably pick up the day afterwards. As I tell Sitra to long rest. I'm also going to tell Candy to on long rest too. So, we wake up, think... go ahead. No, you're good. I was going to say, we probably start with um, Limnos, as he probably enters the lower city from the upper. Uh, Limnos, what had happened was you were left, in, not long, in that other world, you came you were founded by the people who originally sent the quest they went and fetched you uh because they were asked to by your companions it seemed like your companions teleported back and realized that you were not with them and sent a rescue party type thing to come and get you uh so you're entering the city through the upper like, from the upper city to the lower city, you know where you guys were. So you know your way around. Um, at least for the most part. Uh, so. What would you like to do, Limnos? Uh, well, I guess I'll just be wandering around. Hopefully I run into him. Head back to where we thought, or where I thought we were supposed to end up back. But not in any particular hurry. Okay. Still a little dazed. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty decently early morning at the moment, so that makes sense. Uh, so you'll be roaming around for the early morning. We'll see if your party goes walking out and whatnot, and if they randomly find you. Uh, party. Well, you guys start to wake up. What do uh, you guys do? What is it, like T minus five days or something? Um, let's say about three. Just okay. to a nice round recovery period. Let me bump you guys forward a little bit. Can I have still made potions? Dirty. Yeah, you can say, as long as you devote part of your long rest to it, you can make the potions per day. Cool, cool, cool. So I should have two more, then. Okay, as long as you're spending the gold, I don't mind. Well, I've got, I already bought um, yeah. the materials. 
I'll just subtract materials and add visions. How much is the bounty for Reynolds Ball? Um... <laughs> hey, guys, I think this is a help wanted sign. Um, <laughs> I don't think we need to worry too much about it. I just, I'm not looking for work right now. Uh, we got this whole saving the world thing going on. Uh, uh, it doesn't, it does, it doesn't have a specific bounty on it, uh, Avner. It's more like if you have any information on this, please contact us. All right. We'll give them the information when we leave so they go look at the tavern and we're already gone. And maybe we can make some money. What could go wrong? Um, everything. How about we don't do that? The posters are only around the docks. At the moment. I find out it was a lot of money. You're a crazy person. Probably. There isn't really anything I am looking to do until we do the caravan thing. What about you guys? I don't uh, Avnor just needs to go meet up with the merchant that uh, he hired to get us the job so he can procure his shipment from him and then that's pretty much it outside waiting for the uh, to go be a part of yep. this uh, caravan Alistair just like sleeps in super tired super still kind of hurt from the day before there's like whip marks against your shoulder. There's whip marks on you. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you guys, do you guys want to do something today? Uh, I don't know broken. what you guys do, but when I'm not with you, you guys always seem <laughs> to come back with interesting stories. We'll uh, put it that way. <laughs> seems like, that, it seems like the, uh, the creatures just love to find you guys. I think it's our pheromones. You know, so a, you a better question know? would be why why Avner disappears so often, <laughs> right when things happen. <laughs> I assume question. he's writing horribly cliched poems in his diary. <laughs> That's a good question, voice from my head. <laughs> <laughs> Look, like, I just I'm says trying... that up out. <laughs> I'm on, on my own mission to find something. And you guys just happen to not go that way. Uh, and go a different way. Uh, Not bad. Kenny Can, is also at breakfast with you guys. Uh, hello, Dom, by the way. Uh, oh, okay. We are just really getting started into it. They're having uh, breakfast. Uh, Limnos is exploring the city, uh, trying to find his way back to you guys. As you guys are having breakfast a day or two after the um, the fight. Gotcha. Yeah. I have long rested you after the fight, though. Sweet. Okay, I'm just booting everything up. You're good. Uh, I just was filling you in where everybody was. Uh, but yeah, you guys are talking uh, about voice in the head? Yes. What? You have voices in your head? Yeah, don't you? It's my own. I mean... Talk. Just your own? To be, to be honest, if you hear your own voice in your head... You're probably an insane person. Mike, would I would I correlate wait, my wait. powers for the you know for my warlock side being a voice in my head then? Ah, uh, you could. Uh, which warlock were you again? Legacy. Legacy, yeah. Ah, uh, there's probably it's probably whispers more than a voice. Just like, okay, just like vague like. Hints and points and whatnot. More like instincts type thing of yeah. More the, you know like gut feeling type stuff. Yeah, exactly. Uh, 
voices than you had. At least you always have someone to talk to. I mean, yeah, they are pretty. Sometimes I, I can't really think straight. Sometimes there's too many. Sometimes there's just one. But have you ever considered normal. making a talking stick for these voices, like, like they have to be holding the talking stick? But their <laughs> voices, they, they don't, they, they don't have hands. What you're talking about, man? You're sounding <laughs> that, crazy. Yeah, that sounds crazy. Come on. Um, <laughs> you know what? You're right. Oh. Luca, you just made me think. Uh, because you're a cleric, you could technically make JoJo references because your spiritual weapon could be a stand. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you didn't think I'm... about that. No. <laughs> and that's probably going to be my whole personality from <laughs> now on. <laughs> oh no. We see uh, Alistair immediately buff up and get really weirdly shaded. Just like standing very weird poses. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Like one hand on the chest, the other one like above his head, and he, he's trying to drink from that hand. But it's too yeah. far away, but he can just like miss the pose. <laughs> Spills grape juice. <laughs> But yeah, uh, like uh, my 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 voices helped us a bit in the past. Is that the source of your power? Uh, I don't know. Are you? And he just like looked to his side where there's nobody at. Just like it. It looks like it's he's trying to listen to something like really, really quiet. And then she just calls back, for, "Yeah, no, I don't know." Um. Yeah, they they don't know either. They're, they, they're asking me, actually, which is concerning. <laughs> you said they've, uh, they've helped us out in the past, but uh, have they gotten you into trouble, maybe? <laughs> I'm not sure if they got me into trouble, if I got me into trouble, then help me out. But, like, I'm always out of the trouble, so... <laughs> that's yeah, only that's in my not... book. Yeah, I guess that's not the best metric to gauge us by. I mean, there was once, like, when we were on that other city with the, the weird dragon. We were, like, trying to get into a house, and we were unsure of some things. And one of the voices said, hey, there are people upstairs, watch out. And I told you guys, and then the people upstairs came downstairs, and we killed them all. How did they know they were, that there was people? I have no idea. I don't ask. Like, do they have <laughs> senses the outside of your senses? How many fingers am I holding up behind my back? Four. <laughs> oh, shit, guys. He's, 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 he's psychic. <laughs> he's psychic. <laughs> they are telling me that you, you do ask a lot of questions. <laughs> and I don't know if they like it or not. Um, I just just like starts to to look at at the horizon like at nothing for an uncomfortable amount of time maybe. <laughs> uh, Avril's gonna take like five steps back. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I don't really see a problem with it so long as you know you're not getting into too much trouble. I mean, oh. the last person that got us, that that got us into trouble was someone being pounced by a a weird panther magic thingy. Yeah, that that couldn't have possibly been anyone that I know, right? <laughs> oh no, I yeah, for sure. No, who who did? I don't remember. I think it was Candy. No, no, no. You're clearly remembering that wrong. No, I don't think he's remembering that right. Yeah, listen, the market has a bunch of uh, strange things, all right? You never know what you're going to find over there. Do you think that was a marketing tactic? Like, they were trying to sell their exotic 
pets. Or maybe some health potion. They were trying to sell health potions. <laughs> See, you should buy all health potions. You never know when you'll find a you know, displacer piece <laughs> randomly in town. <laughs> Or it's a mercenary group. Like, you should hire us to protect you. You'll never know when you get jumped by a giant cat. Oh, shit. Did we forget to pay our protection dues? <laughs> Aren't we the protection? <laughs> I mean... Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> that's a bad... That's a bad thing. Who <laughs> are <laughs> protecting them? <laughs> that green We forgot about lady. someone. I mean, there was... Oh, yeah. There was a dragon friend that you forgot about. I'm a dragon friend. So you don't have any other dragon Talking friends? Talking about Loom. Luminous. He's mysterious. I'm sure he'll pop up at some point uh, in the level. We didn't forget him. He abandoned us. He's in the wrong, not us. I think at this I point... Mean, I don't know if anybody's in the wrong. It's just that we accidentally teleported away and he wasn't with us. So I think at this point you you see um uh uh little boy like a not little boy but uh um I walked the other direction. <laughs> no, I'm not uh, allowed to be here. <laughs> Five hundred feet. That's what they said. Um, <laughs> uh, no, a courier uh walks in, uh looks around, sees you, and like hands you a letter and says, "This is uh this is from Town Hall. Uh, they said they completed a job." For you, uh, and they handed it to you, and then they left. It is this an invoice? Um, it do we owe the city money? <laughs> you, do you Watch open out, it? Maybe it's poison. I just start yelling bankruptcy. Bankruptcy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good question. <laughs> when we skip town, they can't find us. <laughs> uh, that's a good you question. Does <laughs> Renadon know how to read? What do we do? I know how to read. You have I eight, know how to read. You're a commoner level intelligence, and that's not a, a commoner level thing to do. So I was just asking. Uh, I don't know. That's a, up to you. I'm okay if you know how. I just wanted to make it's sure. Nice. Um, I'd, I'd rather know how to read. read. Yeah, if you'd rather uh, know how to read, that's fine. Chaos. Uh, chaos is always fun. Uh, do you open it and look at it then? Yeah. Uh, it says, uh, for services rendered of retrieving your friend, you owe us 10, uh, gold coins payable at your soonest, uh, desired time. Soonest des- I like this language. Um, uh, interest, interest, and underneath it says interest does, acu- uh, like, accrue at 10% every day. 10% every day? <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, is that on the, is that just on the initial 10 gold or is that? Is yeah, that just the initial 10. Compounding interest. Is it compounding interest? Uh, you don't know. That oh, sounds shit. like accounting shit. I just, I just sprint out the door. <laughs> I'm sprinting for town did hall. You, did you read like out I loud did. for everybody else or did you just leave? Um, I don't think I remembered to. So you guys just see Red Adult leaves. Get a letter. Get told his job was done and he just left. Uh, <laughs> you think somebody found his bounty and he's running to hide? <laughs> well, we we need to do one of two things right here. We need to run after him or we need to run in the opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it was fine inside the tavern. I mean, he literally the just like he took a letter, read it, said something like, "Hey, I like this language." He also, he also said bankruptcy. He also said bankruptcy. He also shouted bankruptcy. What is bankruptcy? I, mean, I don't know if I know this term. I have absolutely no idea. I just like the word. I like the like idea Bama that Bama. bankruptcy does exist, if most people don't know about it. <laughs> well, I got an 8 intelligence, so I don't know if I know about bankruptcy. Renadol has an 8 intelligence. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not too bad. Uh, so listen, I have a 10, said, and I absolutely don't know. Yeah, he he said bankruptcy. He yelled like he likes this language. I think he's going to like a, a flash sale of somebody's assets, their estate. They're selling their estates or something, and he's going to go bid on it. That's the likely scenario here. We should go. Uh, we should go check it out. Maybe we can scoop up some uh, 
you know, like a nice hutch or something, or, or maybe like a, you know, a really nice silverware set, something like that. But Andy, how I mean, do you sell I, a house? I, I, I understand this logic, and I, you know, it sounds logical, but now I'm a little mad at him because he didn't invite us at all. He's trying to take it all for himself. That asshole. He's selfish. Wait, 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 wait. How do you sell a whole state? That's a lot of land. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, it is. Uh, let's go and I'll show you. Uh, yeah, sure. Alright, I'll follow you. So, Runner Dog was sprinting <laughs> full speed and you guys talked for a couple minutes after he left getting it. So, I don't think you know where he went. Oh, shit. Um, I'm gonna try and uh, track him. Go yeah. ahead. Roll me a survival. Just look for the man shouting bankruptcy and running. <laughs> Literally, you you see a long stretch of land. You just see Red Dog like a couple hundred feet away, just yelling bankruptcy, holding a note above his head, running. Uh, yep, right there. Uh, he's he's running along the docks and whatnot until he can get to the upper city. Oh shit, he's gotta go to the upper city, he's screwed. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you might catch up to him faster. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh I'll dash after him as fast as I can. Uh you can easily catch up to him, because you can triple dash. That cunning action bullshit Rogue can do. <laughs> I love that guy's fast. Oh, Oh, uh, Dom, did you see the UA for the Rogue? How they moved uh, Reliable Talent to level 7? Wow. They also, they also gave uh, Cunning Attacks, which I might actually steal, which are things you spend your Sneak Attack dice on to do extra stuff. So you oh, do a cool. D6 less of Sneak Attack, but you can disarm. Nice. So Battle Mastery stuff. Yep. Gives you more stuff to do. All right. At the at the trade off of one or more d sixes. Um, the highest amount you can do is I think at level ten or maybe a little bit higher, which is six d six. But it's a big <laughs> effect; it knocks them unconscious. I think. <laughs> and the, those saves attached to all of these, but you don't have a limited amount of times you can try them. It just subtracts damage. Interesting. Yeah, that's kind of neat. But it's still one per turn because you can only sneak yeah, attack it's, it's, once a turn. Yeah, it's one one effect per turn until you get to like 15. Then you can do two effects per t for, per time of trying it. Oh, um, interesting. Okay, yeah, we can look at that for sure. Yeah, I, I, just, I think that might be an interesting thing. To I want to do a one-shot either way here soon. Um, but yeah. You uh, triple dash up. You you catch up to him like you're like doing that jogging backwards, keeping up with him. Like, <laughs> hey hey uh hey Renadol, uh, looks like you're headed to uh, Upper City. You sure you want to head that way? <laughs> what what um, that I need to not owe the city a million <laughs> trillion gold in three days, please. Uh, what? I'm busy. I'm busy. Uh, you, do you need some help? Um, can I hide in your pocket for a second? I <laughs> don't think. Okay. I turn into a into a, a field mouse and jump into his pocket. <laughs> yeah. How does Renador like react to that? Not Renador, but how does Kenny react to Renador doing that? Uh, so I kind of like look like I pull the pocket kind of far away from my hip a little bit and look down in it and I say all right buddy this is a good plan but we got a little bit of a problem uh, you turned into a mouse before I knew where you needed to go <laughs> uh, I'll just I'll pop my my upper body out of the pocket and just point towards uh, uh, uh. where we need to go Get into his head. That's so, a this shit. Come on. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Do you have a hat on? Are you does wearing Katie a hat? A, does Kenny have a hat? Does Katie that's have up, a hat? That's up to you. Um, Kenny 
doesn't typically have a hat, but he has a big, wide neck scarf. Do you have? He has horns. You can just sit on. You can just sit on his head. He has hair and horns. Yeah. So I'll pull the. It's like the. I can pull the the thing up to a hood though. So I'll do that. Okay. Okay. Assassin's yeah, we'll Creed style. We'll rat it to you. Okay. All right. So let's see what would be good checks for this. <laughs> uh, well, where's the Where's the human handling skill? So it, it's going <laughs> to be insight on Canny's side. Okay. And that, like, um, and Renador. And I'm going to have Renador do his check first, because the higher his is, the lower your DC will be, Kenny. Sure. Um, what do you guys think is more appropriate? Slider hand like a, or animal I handling? I feel like a dex-based dex thing. Dex animal handling, then. Human wrangling. There's got to be yeah. a skill for that. Uh, not yeah, yet, but, but it, there it, will it, be. I mean, te technically, you can make it like a grapple attack. <laughs> performance. Ten. Okay. Performance, yeah. I have All a right, DC I'm... in my head. Go ahead and roll insight. Okay. Ooh, um, nice. He's not very good at, like, pointing. He's just kind of pulling hail. Ow, but, ow, watch it, watch but it. But you know he's going to the upper city, so he... he it's kind of easy to know where you need to go. There's only one place he's been in the Upper City. Because you've been right. here with him. Right, Not... right, right. We're going to go to the uh, the main hall there. Check out that, uh, probably where the job board was, right? That's probably little... where most estate sales happen. Do I get a little squeak of affirmation? Yeah. <laughs> he yanked some more hair. Yet. Ow, fuck. Okay. <laughs> Uh, All right. So you... uh, before we go past the guards, there, um, oh, man, I know you said this is critical. You're losing gold by the minute here, but uh, I'm gonna see if our buddies uh, can tag along because uh, uh, yeah, feel like we might get into some. So shit. you standing there for about a, a minute, like working this out with him, is more than enough time for Alistair and uh, and Avner to catch up and meet back up. Hey guys, uh, and I lift my hood. Uh, Renadol's just kind of chilling here for a little bit. Uh, he wants me to go into Upper City, and so I think we're gonna go into Upper City. I mean, I can kill that mouse for you if you want. No, that's <laughs> Renadol, so maybe not. Alistair's already have, like, his uh, <laughs> hammer in his hand. He's looking at the rat and he goes, oh, okay. <laughs> I can't. Whatever you said, Renadol, I can't read it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's another change they did to Druid. Um, Druidic count to uh, speak with beasts. Oh, that's amazing. I can't read that either. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, um, um, all right, well... Does anybody have any issues getting past Upper City Guards? Because I know that was maybe a little bit of a problem before. I think it was just Renadol, but I'm not sure if anyone else picked a beef here or there. I think it was just Renadol. All right. Uh, Mike, would message still allow Renadol to communicate back? Now? He cannot communicate because he has to whisper. Mm, gotcha. Um, all right, so uh, let's go talk to some gate guards. I, w I want to test this uh, to see if this works. Okay, it does. I, w I wanted to see something anyways, but that is a good test to make D100s work. Uh. Execute order 66. So. You guys go to the gates and, uh... <laughs> I have to laugh because I'm the only one that can fucking read your things, Michael. 
Um, but yeah, you guys head to the gate, uh, and it looks to be all fine. It's the gods that love Renadol so much there today, but they don't stop you as you go through. Uh, good afternoon, gentlemen. Looks like you guys are having a fine day. Uh, uh, Kenny, you feel a little twinkle in your hair. Shit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, give me a charisma save to see how you react. Sure, sure, sure. Charisma saving throw? Yeah. 17. Yeah, you you managed to hold it together. You, you don't make any faces or anything to what you are now sure is mouse pee in your hair. Poof. Did it get hot? I'm dripping sweat here. And I just wipe it off and keep walking by them. Um, all right. So head towards the uh, that job board where we picked up the posting to go to that. Uh... Yeah. I thought we were going to an estate sale. Yeah, I think we may have misunderstood Renadol a little bit. Um, yeah, he was uh, he was worried about money losing money by the day uh the only place that we really well that he really got to deal with over here was uh the town hall so i figure that's probably the best place to get answers renador you are now you are now past the gods so you don't have to be up in his hair anymore oh, okay i hop off i hop off uh and turn back into renador and say Whoo, oh that was close no, no, it wasn't close. It was very much all over me. Oh. Uh, that was a different mouse. That wasn't me. Right, right, right. Mm. Bernardo, what's going on? Oh, here, read this. <laughs> so you guys see the note which says basically that we've returned your friend. You owe us $10 plus an interest of 10% every day. But wait. How many days ago did you get this letter? But wait, we haven't seen our friend, so how do we know that they actually brought our friend back? We can't pay him until we find our friend. Isn't this like a ransom situation? I thought we were trying to like get him back, like buy him back from the city. I don't think that's ransom. I think. Anyways, it's just follow like... me, and I I go inside. <laughs> I'll get him back, rendered. guys. Don't worry. <laughs> Can't wait for this negotiation. I march up to the to the counter. Uh, oh, hi, hello there. I see you got our invoice. Does she have a name tag? Um, probably not. Because that <laughs> doesn't sound like a fantasy thing. Listen, Miss City Hall lady, I don't know your name, but I want to uh, see your manager. My my name's Becky, and uh, the, why do you need to see the manager? Becky, Something you're wrong. holding ransom of deep, good friend of mine who refuses to wear pants, and I want him back. Here's um, your ten gold. So she takes the ten gold. Oh, oh okay. You may understand. No, we set your friend free. He he walked out and went into the city. Then why yes. did you demand money from me? Because we went and teleported him back as an extra deed for you guys. This is a scam. You yeah, shouldn't have wait, left wait, your wait, wait, you wait. shouldn't have left your friend there. I, I do the thing where I grab him why by the shoulders and kind of like. Pants? Well, what was he yes. wearing? Pants? Well, he didn't what? have a shirt on. He he was he kind of. It definitely wasn't Luminous then. He never wears pants. You got the wrong guy. You got the wrong guy. I mean, either we way, we, 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 either way, one, you both already paid and she puts it in a drop box. <laughs> but two, you, we went to the location where we left you guys. You left your friend and we retrieved a dragonborn as per your instruction. Do you know where he's at right now? He's in the city somewhere. Unless he left you guys because you guys left him, that's up to him. Yeah, that's fair. And if it's a, the wrong Dragonborn, that's on you guys for not describing and for you leaving your friend in the first place. I mean, I'm pretty sure Pantsless Dragonborn was a sufficient enough description. 
Wait, if I give you another 10 gold, will you go hunt somebody down and teleport them back to back here? No, we're not required for anybody else. Shit. Damn. Plus, we can't teleport unwilling people. Hmm. What if you teleported, like, a demon god? And that, I was gonna take over the- take That over the, the, sounds the dangerous. I don't know, that, that, that would be on you guys. You brought him into this realm. I think Sounds like an, another job posting. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, we're creating jobs here. <laughs> now, now, if you excuse me, I have to put these wanted posters out by the the guards oh, over at the upper city. Some creep uh, been down at the docks. Can I, can I sneak a picture of what the wanted poster looks like? Oh, roll sleight of hand. Yeah, let me uh, request a sleight of hand. It probably won't be that high. Uh... Shit. Uh, Fuck. I pull my hood up. Slide <laughs> uh, of hand. Why do all these people want want my help with things? I'm not good at very many she, things. She's talking to Renado on them, and you're able to like sneak one of the posters off the stack. I'll wait until she leaves, and then I'll show it to the rest of the group. It, again, it's a very poorly drawn uh, Renadol. Is it stick figure? <laughs> no, it's not stick figure, but it de it makes him look one. He's like it. It has his red, but not uh, not a lot of his blues. It's more purple, and it probably makes him look more heroic than he actually is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I look nothing like this. It does oh, have yeah, his scar. Know. It does have his scar over his eye, though. I don't know why I'm indignant about this. This is a good thing. Ooh. Um. So, so it sounds like we need to go find Luminos then, if he's yeah. in the city. Yeah, we should be able to ask around from pretty easily. If we, if we give you ten gold, will you teleport him back here, <laughs> she, <laughs> so we she, can find him? I think Candy waited till you guys were away from her. To show oh, yeah. that makes so... more sense. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, well, yeah. I took off her desk. Bye, right Becky. Have a good day. <laughs> Let's go find Alumnos. Yeah, we should be able to ask for him pretty easily. Um, by the way, you, you got to get past these guards again. Uh, good Shit. luck with that. Wait, I can turn back into a field mouse because that's still an hour within two hours. I'm still concentrating on the wild shape. Uh, yeah, was that one of the things I was testing? Are you doing the rule, or are you... Uh, I don't remember if you said you were actually doing the rule. I, I wanted to mess it up, but... You can also just use another wire shape. I, yeah, we probably... Or probably invisibility. Yeah. I'll yeah, just... Can we just make you invisible if you want? <laughs> I'll Bye. just... I'll... I'll... I'll 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 risk it. It's fine. All right, we risk it for the biscuit. Let's go get a limnos. Um, you know who would probably be a good person to ask for this? Although it's right in the um, call it the the hot zone for you, Renadol. But uh, <laughs> the we can children? go to the docks. Yeah, we can go to the docks. I could ask my little urchin buddies. They're pretty friendly. I could friendly. ask around too. Eh, maybe not at the docks. <laughs> I mean, I think those guys liked me a lot. They keep wanting my help with stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, maybe you can check the local pub. I'll do that. Uh, do you go and check? Uh, which pubs do you check? The ones in the upper city? Some of the lower cities, the one you've been staying at, the end you've been staying at? Mm. Probably the inn we were staying at, right? Like, that's probably yeah. where he's likely to go. Yeah, I'll go back to the inn we're staying at. And if he shows up, I'll be there and can keep him there. Uh, do you guys split up before you get there, or do you all go there first? 
Eh, it seems like a good first place to check. I wouldn't mind going back to the inn. Yeah, that's fine. And how do you get through the gate with the gods? I, I just walk, walk through. <laughs> let's Copy. uh, let's put uh, Renadol in the middle of us like a tight pack. We'll just kind of walk around him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have a hood, run it all? I do. Yeah, that's what I said. I put my hood up. Oh, okay, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. But that I... didn't help last time, so I don't know. I, I have a question, Michael, of all. What? Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, it's different have... gods by the time you get back. It's not the gods that uh, love to bully uh, Renadol and give them money. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's different. Good. Good, good, good. Let's go find a little else. Uh, so you guys, again, it's, it's now been several hours. Like It's now probably about noon to one-ish after walking through the city and getting back. And when you enter in, you see sitting at a booth enjoying uh, a drink and some very yellow leathery pants is a Limnos. Hey, he is wearing pants. What a shock. That's not a Limnos. This is a trap. The, is an the leather pants look vaguely uh, familiar to something you guys have killed. Ooh. Not, not to me, it doesn't. <laughs> I think just he, like I when I look around. You don't look I want to look around very slowly, like try to. I'm sure that's a trap. There's something wrong here. <laughs> uh, Alumnus wa starts waving his hands to get their attention. I'm over here. I, I don't oh, they stop at my tracks. I'm, I'm just shocked you're wearing pants. <laughs> well. I had to trade my shirt for it. I mean, it's an exchange of goods, but, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad you're wearing pants. I'm just, I, I just know how you were about not wanting to wear them. So I'm kind of shocked by it. What are those pants made out of? Uh, whatever it is that you guys fought. I was kind of wandering around and uh, came across it and found someone that could make it into this for me. You, you remember... Kenny, two big lizards that you got caught in between the middle of, and oh, they and they tried to like. eat you guys. Oh, the jaggeds! No, nope, nope, none dogs. of that rings the bell to me. <laughs> the it's the one of the monsters that they fought before you caught up to them, Abner. <laughs> yeah, yes. glad to see that you're back. Yeah, you guys hungry? I, I spent some time fishing. I got some here you can have. Sure. How'd you get back? Uh, yeah, why am I the only one just suspicious a bit? Well, I mean... We, we don't even know if Sifra is Sifra, and now someone who doesn't wear pants <laughs> come back wearing pants, offering food, and you guys are just like, yeah, sure, why not? And I'm the crazy one. <laughs> well, you know, being abandoned by you guys, yeah, I, I, I don't want that to happen again. It was kind of lonely. Not abandoned, forgotten. Which <laughs> abandoned <laughs> us. Worse. Worse. <laughs> I think we were the I, ones. Who I, I pulled my fish away from him. <laughs> that's that's fair. Um, I just. I thought you guys left me because. I wasn't wearing pants, and I spent a long enough time being alone. So if that's... <laughs> I need to swallow my pride so you guys don't leave me. That's what I'll do. You know what? You're entirely right. Always wear pants from now on. <laughs> or we'll abandon you. Well, Illuminos, I am sorry that we ended up teleporting before you were with us, but you can go back to not wearing pants. It's funnier that way. Alright, let's <laughs> trip them off. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Damn it. I was gonna say I was no, like in the middle uh, ground where I'm like when, when you oh. go to take your pants off the the ball keeps like no 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 in my in my ball you gotta wear pants. <laughs> my apologies. I that was my bad, I'm sorry. I, I, you I can you cannot yeah, you cannot wear pants outside the city. I recommend you keep them on though. 
You end up like that one dragonborn they're looking for down by the docks. Oh fuck! I cut pull my head out. Oh. Wait, did you not wear pants in front of children? That's no, that's not what happened, Avner. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> There's a there's another dragonborn. People are looking for a dragonborn. What happened? It's they it's a help wanted <laughs> sign, not a not a wanted. It's don't I'm worry about it. I'm not talking. Stop, stop. I'm talking show me the, show me the photo. Uh, show me the photo. He, he's like yeah no they apparently some dragonborn was being a creep with some children and they disappeared. They haven't found him. They're looking for him though. Jeez, maybe we should go hunt this guy. That's not cool to be doing this around kids. What do you guys think? That's a okay. very good idea. I already offered to try to turn him in, but I was out old. So you know who he is? <laughs> yeah, I, I just I just turned to look at Renadol. Weird. I'll I'll look at Renadol and then back at Avner, then at Renadol, Avner, and then it takes a little bit, and you can see Don on my face, and they'll just start laughing. I didn't do anything wrong. I think those kids beg to differ. <laughs> Mm. It's okay. We're gonna be leaving this season. Well, you know what? Since you abandoned me, I think it's within all my <laughs> rights. I get up. Um, I'll I give you ten Sarah, gold. And I agree. I'll go with you. I go up to the bar. He just said he'd give you ten gold if you don't. I'll give you ten gold. All right, hand it to me. All right, no, I'll give you ten. I give you ten gold. I take the ten gold and walk up to the bar. Shit. <laughs> I <laughs> uh, hope you have your next character ready, Michael. <laughs> would be the dumbest way to lose a character. <laughs> uh, and what do you what do you do, Limnos, at the bar? Uh, so I'll be sitting there. Lim Limnos goes up there. And he's talking to the barkeep. Uh, points back over to the to him. Points sits back, talks a little bit more. And uh, goes and sits back down. Uh. Okay. Uh, the barkeep nods and like calls over a, a serving girl and whispers something into her ear, and she goes to the back room. It's all good. Okay. You, How do much you, was the ward? I, mean, he wasn't sure. I would punch a guard. Um, <laughs> it was just um, the the thing they got told was on the wanted thing. It says um, information will be rewarded, but it doesn't have a gold price. Oh. Uh, this is it, slander. Uh, Renadol, do you do anything, or do you sit at the table and? No, I gave him ten gold. He took it. We have a contract. That's fine. This is probably something else. Yes. A verbal contract, like not abandoning your friends. We never tacitly agreed to that. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess that was an unspoken rule not to be broken. Here's your ten gold back. Oh, thanks. I needed that. I don't hand it over. But then why'd you say it? Because I put it on the table but and then didn't take my hands off of it. Um, after, uh, a second, uh, the servant girl comes back out from the back room with a tray with, uh, five mugs of some kind of alcohol and slides it onto the table. Thank you. Well, that was very thoughtful of you, Luminos. Oh. I appreciate that. Well, actually, this was, uh... From Renandal, as I give from that ten I place on the table, give her uh, whatever the value, however much two gold. Yeah, it'd gold. probably it'd probably be two gold worth for five drinks. It had five silver. Jeez. You bought you bought expensive drinks. Yeah. Well, no, no Renandal bought, like, bought expensive drinks. No, nope, no, nope. right. Luminos did. <sighs> Credit goes to him. <laughs> All right. So, on a serious matter, though, uh, you said we're leaving the city because. These pants are itchy, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fuck no, we're never leaving the city. Sorry, we're gonna be here forever. <laughs> uh, yeah, three days, caravan's leaving. We're gonna join 
follow the cultists, murder them probably eventually. I mean, let's let's be real. Why? Probably gonna fight them. Why? Uh, that the hand guy asked us to. That was your guys' job to come up here to come join the caravan that the cult of the dragon will probably be part of, and to see where they're transporting the treasure and whatnot. He had an amazing mustache. Was that when I was with the group or when I was not? I believe it was, but it's been a while by now, so... You were with the group. We we met him in a previous city before arriving here. Gotcha. It must just be the uh, amount of time I was alone. I went crazy and forgot. <laughs> That's unsamble. Um, I like to imagine only like 12 hours, but... <laughs> <laughs> it was literally half an hour. <laughs> I, 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 I love, by the way, my friend Mid. You nerfed my bees? How dare! Uh, but yeah. Um, so that was the original job while you were sent here. Um, so if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna try to make more health potions to keep us all alive. Because that's the thank you I get. <laughs> what for you always do you, need, do you need an inventory to make the health potions? No, I have tons of inventory and tons of gold. Um, believe it or not, it's a little difficult to purchase health potion supplies from the people trying to sell health potions um yeah, i might sense. need i might need to find a different supply method what would you need supply in case i come across any of it uh like vibrantly red flowers those make health potions i always thought green ones did no that... that's stamina potions no you mix green with red yeah I like it. That's how you get the greater one. That's yeah. purple. That's regeneration potions. I don't know if Michael doesn't get the joke we're making, Corey, or <laughs> I think it's I think it's safe to assume. I don't know what reference you guys are referencing. Resident Evil Green Herbs heal you green and red at full heal. Do I look like I play Resident Evil? Maybe. <laughs> There's a bunch of stuff that you play that you don't look like you would play, Michael. So. <laughs> <laughs> you also look like the kind of person who would spend six years looking for a game but never Google tower whip <laughs> guns roguelike. That's also very fair. Uh, uh, I pull out my crafting space. <laughs> Uh, so, anything else that is said, or do you guys just kind of chill for the next couple days? Yeah, I, I was gonna ask something. Go ahead, Luca. What, what do you guys think about we, like, go see what that panther magic thingy was all about? Panther magic? Am I the only one who's... Oh, yeah, we almost died yesterday. I don't know what you're talking about either. Did they abandon you too? You up? No, no. I mean, with me, no, I kind of just wander us. off. I just wander off sometimes and get lost from them. And then I show I mean, up after they've either yeah. defeated or not defeated. But yeah, I he wanders <laughs> off. Trouble. Uh, he wanders off. Trouble happens. Then he comes back. <laughs> It's only happened twice in the last week. Mm. I mean, Magical Panther thing sounds interesting. Yeah, it does. I'd go. Um, I mean, we killed it. So. Well, yeah, but what is up with that? Are you are you trying to find like the owner to sue him for negligence and damages? I do don't know what suing is, but right. maybe. What are these terms I'm on today? Suing? What's bankruptcy? Do you think anyone heard that earlier? Do I still have to do it? What? what? Bankruptcy. 
What about no, it? That's what you said when you ran off. I don't know what the, that term means. Maybe no one heard it. It's fine. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. What does Renadol think bankruptcy means? Because <laughs> he, he's you, robbing a bank. Yeah, you you have you have eight intelligence. I want to know. I, I don't know. I feel, I feel like Renadol just spews repeats things that he okay. hears some smart person say. So he doesn't know. He just knows when you ask for money, you yell bankruptcy. He's w wise enough to have intuited. Uh, that how to use the words in a way that seems like it might make sense, but he doesn't actually know ah, what okay. the words mean. He's just like it has to do with money, so I didn't want to pay, <laughs> so I yelled bankruptcy. Yes, somebody declared bankruptcy once, and then they didn't have to pay their bills, and he was trying that out for oh himself. Oh my god! Now I want when your tab comes up. Uh, for you to just yell bankruptcy and run away. Is that how that, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Is that our new code word for when we need to, like, get out of Dodge without saying Bank. get out of Dodge? We just yell bankruptcy. <laughs> and I, I scabble. I, I love mid banks start with a B and are thus staffed with Vespoids. Vespoids <laughs> are also debt collectors. That'd be terrifying. <laughs> Buzz, buzz, motherfucker. Yeah, they just mug you. What were we doing? I think you oh, guys yeah. were discussing the the display we're gonna track down that We're going to track down that merchant. It looked like an abandoned car. And now that you, th uh, roll, uh, now that you think back to it, it does l look like that Displacer Beast might have been malnourished. It looked like it was surviving off people sticking hands into the cart. <laughs> Nibbling on fingers. Yeah, so it was. <laughs> it is, you're a very wise person, Renador, so you could probably use insight to guess that it probably was abandoned. It was an abandoned Displacer Beast. Nobody to sue. Yeah, what is Sue? Um, it's something you you do uh, when you don't like someone. Yeah. Okay, I'll remember that. Okay. I'm gonna sue the coaches. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Do you think we could handle this like through the law? Not with us. <laughs> Not by intelligence. <laughs> Uh, we just need to find a really good lawyer. I think uh, I have a brother who's a lawyer. <laughs> Wait, a friend? Is, is this an imaginary person? What is an imaginary? Is it well, one of the voices? What is real? How can you prove something's real? Well, I mean, technically speaking, I guess morally, being a lawyer is more charisma based we just kind of make other people believe what we think is true <laughs> uh, we don't even know if citra is citra yeah it would that's also true. it would also be in, real it would also be insightful uh tim because you have to be able to see through other people's shit. oh i would be a great lawyer i want to be a lawyer <laughs> <laughs> I can be a lawyer. Is this real life? I know! And then just like gets his stuff fantasy? and goes running up the room and just like grabs a bunch of paper and books and brings it down and starts to write stuff that he thinks are lost. <laughs> <laughs> and that's like the next like five, four or five hours just him writing like a, a book of law out of his goddamn mind. And, and then you're gonna throw the book at the cultists, right? That isn't that how you do? Uh, that's what that's what the person said they were gonna do when I was listening. But wait, I, I thought we're gonna we're wait. gonna throw the book at them. Wait, but I thought that's what religion was. Is religion where you make you have a book you have a book of things and then you just beat the people <laughs> with, with the book and just like the beat from it. Uh, so is being a lawyer like being a religious person? I think it's, I think, I think lawyers are, um, like a denomination. 
<laughs> Books start with B and is made of Vespoids. <laughs> okay, three things I know about lawyers. They they have to like two things I know about lawyers. They One thing I know lost. about lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about um, lawyers. I know one thing about lawyers. There's something to do with bringing the hammer down, and I like bringing the hammer down. Ooh. Do you have a hammer. Are you a lawyer? And now I am. <laughs> Who's here to say I'm not? Sounds good to me. Hey, anybody that tells you that you're not a lawyer, just beat him with that hammer. Yeah. In until they Exactly. I think that's what suing means. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna name my my, my hammer Sue. Ooh. <laughs> my hammer now is named Sue. <laughs> I'm suing! I'm suing! Stop it, Sue. Don't do this. Blood everywhere, guts everywhere. Does that Ooh, mean you technically hey. sued Renadol? Because you smacked him with the hammer. But that was just a, a small one. Mmm. <laughs> Alistair. I was gonna say like the name of a of a of a, a, a yeah, yeah. law auction thing, but I don't remember the name. <laughs> Alistair, the instead gavel? of Bobby Ganoush, instead of Bobby Ganoush now, if when we want you just to go haywire, we'll just tell you to sue people, and then that'll be your That's keyword just great. to go crazy. Ah. I fucking love it, and I'm gonna like, and it's just legit gonna spend the next four hours at the bar table writing things on the book. If they're gonna make sense or not, I don't know. <laughs> but there are gonna be things written in a book. Man, Mid has a one track mind. Bankruptcy is just another word for Vespoid attacks. <laughs> uh, but no, um, you guys can spend the afternoon with him doing that, and you guys just kind of relaxing and healing up. Um, and making potions in the bedroom, Breaking Bad style. Uh, and, um, yeah, that can be how you sp and spend the next two days. Unless there's something specific. Uh, I'm not going to sit there watching him read. I'll walk around the, the city yeah. and stuff. But... I figured you guys would explore and stuff. Um, I... Uh, I would Alist go back to the merchant. Yeah, and Alistair, there's probably another fighting pit, uh, fighting pit in this city. I know how much you and uh, Candy and uh, Renadol liked that last time. Is anything allowed to go on in the fighting pit? Um, it's the stand. It's the standard uh, fighting pit rules where it's three checks, one of which can be replaced with a weapon attack. But what if they can't see? Do I get more checks? Uh, they might call you a cheater, and that <laughs> then you might end up on a poster next to Renadol. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> Not a serious of crime. Fight, uh, cheating in a fighting pit, uh, but... <laughs> I'm a squishy. <laughs> I can't fight straight up. <laughs> no, uh, it has nothing to do with your health. <laughs> No, I, uh, I, I know, but... Um, but yeah, I'd go back to the merchant uh, to check on my shipment and then also to see if I can get any herbs for uh, Renadol. Okay, see can, so... See if I can potentially persuade them to give, give them at a, at a cheaper rate. So, <laughs> go ahead. I say if it, if he says, I guess I'll wander around if I can head out of the city and wander around and see if I can find anything for him too. Yeah, no, you're allowed outside the city. It's not like you got a trap. So I'll go uh, out there and see if I can find any green flowers for him, green herbs for him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and as for you, uh, Alna, you you head back to your merchant uh, at Rennie, um the human. Mail and uh, he's like, Ah, oh, you're back. You've uh, got a couple more days than I expected. I... Yeah, yeah, things kind of went sideways. Um, but we're back now, so. 
I, uh, I managed to scrape up three of those items you wanted. Perfect. I really appreciate it. Um, I don't think I charged you ahead of time, Tim, for those. Or did uh, I? I, I think know. I gave 100 gold to, um, to go uh, find them. So, they they weren't super cheap. Uh, but if you want all three, with the 100 you already gave me, I'll need 20 more gold. Okay. And he gives you three smoke bombs. I do have. Uh, do you gonna have any raw ingredients for to make health potions? Um. Since we're going on that care that caravan, we're trying to make make some extra health potions in case any of the merchants or any of us need it. You know, while yeah, we're stacking yeah. it. No, I I know what you you're talking about. Um. I'm not sure if I have any, but you um, I'll I could look into it, but I don't I don't really do supplies like that. If you point me in the direction of uh, a potential merchant around here that does, I can always go. Uh... Go do yeah, that. yeah. You know, you've, uh, done, you've done, you've done, you've done enough. You've done a lot for me. I don't want to take up all. I, your time. I think, I think there's probably somebody in the lower city that could help you, and he probably points it out, and they probably offer um a reasonable price that I am sure I have. Um, so, they go, they probably have, like, a set of, like, a total of, let me roll a dice. They have, uh, a set, they have nine potions worth for a, probably about 25 a piece. For the materials. Um, I'll try to see if I can get them at a... I'll see if I can persuade them to go a little cheaper. Since we're trying to use them to help help merchants on a caravan mission. Uh, yeah, let me... Uh, let me click you and click this contested role. Let's go a persuasion and let's set this as... Yeah, that's probably a decent one. Boom. Uh, you, you could have clicked the die in chat. Oh, gotcha. But that passes. No, you rolled a 17, so that, that will pass. Um, that's, I've been trying to use that more often, Tim, so you guys don't have to go looking for rolls. You can just click the button. Oh, okay, so you just you just click the, the, the die and it does yep. the right. Yep. Gotcha. That's nice. Uh, it, it it sets it up. That way I can ask multiple of you guys for, like, saving throws at once. And you guys don't have to go looking. You uh, guys just give it to me. Nice. Um, but, yes. Uh, they're like, okay. Um, I can... The best I can give you is... Uh, 20 gold apiece. So, 5 gold discount on each. You don't have to buy any more than you want. Just... Uh, and how much is a normal, like... So, a potion healing is about 50, okay. and it takes, typically, the amount of ingredients, uh, 25 is a fail price, so 20 is less than, it is a discount of, like, 20%. Okay. I will buy all nine for 180. Okay. okay. Mark that off. You can mark that you have nine sets of potion ingredients. Uh, anybody else doing stuff on the off days? Uh, I know uh, you are going out of the city, uh, Limnos. I'll have you roll me a, a check for looking for the potion ingredients and whatnot. Yeah, no problem. But, uh, no rush. Anybody else? Uh, at some point, I need to buy more potion ingredients. But 
Nothing I changed. Be I believe that was just done. Yeah. Oh. When, when I come back, you're gonna have nine more. Sounds good. I get to the store. They, I'm sorry, we just sold them all, and I'm like, yeah. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this, this elf came in and bought a whole batch. Shit, was he kind of emo? Yeah. I hate that guy. <laughs> uh, Limnos, I gave you a survival check to uh, see if you find any. Looking for vibrant red flowers. Uh, he was looking for green flowers. Shit. <laughs> he he clearly said that. Um, Limnos, you probably find. Um, let's say because I don't mind you guys having healing because I am obviously a medium. Uh, you find for uh, enough to make probably four potions worth of ingredients. Nice. They're, they're green though, so you know according to uh, Renadol, they're not worth anything. But <laughs> I mean that's over the course of two days you find those uh, alumnos. Okay. So, anybody else do anything? Uh, Canny, uh, Alistair? Um, for Canny, I think he'll just spend... What? Do we lose Luca? Uh, yeah, Luca dropped for a second. I'm assuming Luca will jump back in. Okay. Uh, for Canny, he's just gonna hang around, like, go back to the caravans, hopefully none with uh, Displaced Beasts in them, and um, see if there's any way he can mingle with the caravan to see, like, uh, if they need anything else or, like, what what's missing? Are they looking for mercenaries? Are they looking for, like, to fill any roles, any merchant roles that need to be filled? Stuff like that. Uh, you you do know, because um, you talked to Renadar, that both Renadar and Avdo got you guys jobs as guards on one of the merchant's caravans. Ah. So, okay. you know at least that. Then I'd like to spend my time looking for who is the most guarded. Like, which merchant or caravan guy has overly... is overcompensating for something, if any. Um... There is... I think what happens is it's not so much merchants, but as uh, as you are looking around on the second day, you see, um, you probably don't recognize um, some of the people around it, but you see uh, a screened uh, like palaquin, like a, a cart being carried, like via like people carrying it, like. Um, and roll me, let me see, this should be a pretty easy check, you were helping them out. Uh, boom, boom. Yeah, so, you recognize some slight dragon cult image? Imaging around uh, the barrels of this cart. Got it. Okay, that's precisely the kind of shit I was looking for. So I don't make a big deal out of it. I just kind of mark it, uh, know what to look out for. And when I get a sec over these two days or whatever, I'll kind of just let the rest of the gang know, hey, that's kind of one of the things to look out for. We'll, we'll check it. We'll keep an eye on the palanquin there and just, yeah. Watch. Should we set it on fire? No, we shouldn't. Oh. So just blow it up then? Um, I mean, let, we'll, we're, let's just follow it maybe, because that's kind of what we're supposed to be doing. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. 
Oh, Renadoc, here's, here's some supplies for you. Oh, thanks. What is it? Uh, nine... Uh, no? Nine, nine things of healing materials. Oh. Thanks. I'll make some potions. Because that's what I do. Yeah, you're the potion bitch boy. I'm the potion bitch boy. God told me so. <laughs> no, that was the, that was to God when you went to go to the upper city again, and they were like, "No, you're the potion bitch boy. Go away." <laughs> and I got you these four red plants. Oh, thank as, you. These as, are great. As he hands you four green plants. Are you colorblind? No, I can see those are red. I uh, no, it's the opposite. Hey. You think they're green and. He sees red. You see red. Cause isn't that what? Because Renador said um, he wanted. Oh yeah, no. You were looking for red, which that's okay. I got one. Okay. I'm so confused. Okay, so he hands you green, but he thinks they're red, basically. Oh, okay. I got confused myself. I apologize. I'm so confused, but okay. I'm adding. Four more potion ingredients to my inventory. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. So as we continue, oh, I'll, I'll divvy out the potions. Yeah, just make sure yep. people. I'll do it in chat. Don't worry about it. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. Uh, but as we continue forward, uh, your urgent friends, uh, Kenny will tell you that, and I don't know what happened to Luca, by the way, so he's just vaguely in the background. Um, same with uh, Sethra. But your urchant friends, because you don't want to be caught nearby them, so you're having your urchant friends risk their lives, um, tell you that the people you assume are with the dragon cult, uh, they went to a yard and they purchased uh, five dragons and supplies for those dragons. Ooh, and they uh, they put the supplies and s some other stuff in the wagons and covered them in candidates and lashed them down. And they are like up near the, where the other merchants are to uh, in the caravan. I'll uh, kind of stealthily relay that information to the group so they know what to look out for. And maybe just reiterate that this is a following mission to make sure no one does anything too brash. Uh, Renadol puts his hand down that he was about to throw a spell at them or something. I put away my tinder. Shillelagh. Uh, but no, um... If, if it's possible, uh, I don't know, the... Can we maybe convince our caravan that with the two that were two, I think we're we're doing yeah. The there's two cards that you guys are yeah. Can we maybe get them to navigate close to this palaquin? Um, I don't, I don't think the palaquin. Uh... Or, or the carts that they're carrying stuff in. Uh, the paddockland isn't around. Uh, the car, the wagons, though, they they are just general wagons. Um, so you probably have parked nearby. Um. All right. So then, for however long the rest of our party is going to be doing stuff until this caravan hits the road. I'm just going to be um, using my mastermind thing. Um, damn, what's it called? The the observant, not observant feet, but yeah. the do 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 do. What's it actually called? Oh man, it's going to be in effects. I don't know where it is. Attributes. Uh, I will look for it later. But anyways, if I watch these guys for long enough, uh, I should be able to mimic them 
pretty like match their accents and stuff like that so i'm gonna mark maybe one guy in particular that i think is i don't know decently respected like people are taking orders from and i'm just gonna like watch all his mannerisms try and grab his accent all this kind of stuff okay okay Okay, that's probably uh, easy enough to do. Yeah, it just takes time, so it depends yeah. on how much time we're we're um, sticking around. You have guys. about uh, you have before the caravan's supposed to go. You have about a day left or so. So yeah, what, when, as much time as I can, just observing this guy to like nail his accent and mannerisms and everything. Okay. So we'll have you do that over the day. Uh, anybody else doing anything, or is it just get, preparing to uh, leave, like showing up, getting to know the cart driver? Um, yeah, I'd probably just try to talk to the people that we're going to be with and just uh, see what needs they're going to need. To, you know, that whole play the role of the bodyguard and just, you know, us being, you know, in that line. You do notice, uh, Kenny, uh, that the five cars that the people have bought, they're not, they're not, like, grouped together. They're almost, like, spread out amongst the, the merchants. Hmm, okay. There's something that, because you were keeping an eye on with the, with the extra help of your urchins that you, uh, were paying, that, uh, you noticed that. Damn, that was a great investment. I mean, you you specifically went out of your way to get help, so I I want to reward that. Like you you were um, creative. The, the and... moral of the story is uh, use child labor. <laughs> no, because that's what gets you on one side. You got to be careful about using child labor. <laughs> Except you'll be going up there for child labor loss. Uh. But um, of the palaquin and the uh, people carrying it, you see no sign of. Uh, they seem to have quickly left town secretly once they paid for the wagons and set that up. Oh, so they're not actually... The palanquin is not staying with this caravan. Yeah, they no. Just, they they're they're gone. Okay. Okay, I follow. So we have to just... I Okay, to the group, basically. So they are trying to, like... It looks like spread out their merchandise here, kind of intermingle it around the caravan. So just keep an eye out for those four or five carts over there. And I kind of point out the ones that the urchins told me about. And if you guys see anything fishy with those ones, just, uh, I don't know, maybe just grab all of our attention. Maybe we can divert our wagons to, to keep an eye on them a little bit more. Or maybe we can split up whatever, whatever we think is the best way to cover all our bases here. Blow them up. Gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, let's not no no none of the blowing of the up. All of the blowing of the up, gotcha. No blowing down. Um, can we get them down with the illness? <laughs> Only if they're sick. <laughs> okay, so. When we get out on the road, we'll just have to uh, assign people to people, I guess. Uh, well, more or less. We just got to keep an eye on those parts, I guess. I mean, when we get to our destination, or maybe if these particular carts peel off at a specific time, those are the ones we're going to want to follow. Right? Oh, gotcha. Yeah. And see if they're doing anything shady, or they're taking treasure somewhere, or they're kidnapping people to sacrifice or yeah they're definitely like cultists i think they've been trying to hide their 
markings or whatever, but I kind of uh, caught a couple. Cool. So we know who... Cool. Awesome. Good work, Kenny. Yeah, I, I guess. Cool. Thanks, man. You get a health potion. Oh, oh sweet. Kenny, you also to... know yeah, that he's been... By a... You also know he's been giving these out to everybody. <laughs> Damn it, God! Why would you under underhand me like this? <laughs> no, no, no! This is this is this means I'm part of the team. Like I get one like everyone else. This is great. Yeah, yeah. He he had he has better than average insight. So I just wanted to <laughs> let him know that. Can I add just like one to my, oh yeah, quantity. Nice. Sweet. I got three. <laughs> ah. Uh, you didn't miss much. Uh, basically, they found out, uh, just to catch you up, uh, Luca, they found the people entering the city. They know which carts they have. The carts are spread out amongst other merchants. And it's about the day to leave. Okay, gotcha. So you didn't and miss we're too talking much. About how many, we're talking about how many uh, potions? Yeah, at the end of the 10-day wait time, um, you I made... handed out one potion to each of you. I think I had already uh, handed out some partially yeah. through. Yeah, I, I, I think I, only... I have like two or three. Cause I don't worry, we'll, we'll burn through those. I was going to say something, but then I remember you're the DM, and I shouldn't <laughs> so, yeah. no, say anything. No, it, go ahead, antagonize the DM. <laughs> Nothing bad happens there. Never. What could possibly go wrong? Famous last words. Exactly. Yeah, I have two potions of healing right now. Okay. Before I adding more. anything that happened in the last like half an hour. Gotcha. Just one more then. Okay. How no, many can it's... you do per day? Like, till you have to pee? No, no, I mean, uh, how many of those can, uh, can you make? Oh, one. Put some food coloring in uh, Alistair's to make it look uh, like a, like that that white milkshake thing he drank that one time. I'm gonna look at you real suspiciously. <laughs> this one's a health potion. I, this one's a health potion. <laughs> okay, we already know which one's gonna to going to last the whole campaign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, no, just separate it in your inventory. She adds, quote, white healing potion. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's next? I mean, he does have Vespoid poison. In wine I, bottles. Not in wine bottles. I, I just have vials of Vespoid poison. I can't I also you know that's put it in not wine poison. Bottles. That's definitely not poison. Um, 
I know. We one of the voices in my head told me. We worked real hard to collect those best boy poisons, aren't we? We earned those. We did. Oh, yeah, just wait till something more potent attacks you guys. Upgrades. Vest I mean, boys, vest right? boy, yeah. no, vest boys are just like the adolescents. But we built up immunity. There's That's no true. such immunity. So, are you immune to being, being paralyzed? Or poisoned? Do you think they make a Vespoid vaccine? <laughs> uh, I I love that Vespoids are so much nastier than regular D D monsters like Sturge and Sturges. Sturges suck. <laughs> Ah, but yeah, so the it's the day before um the the cart is set to leave. All right, do we feel oh, like we're ready it's for the this? Day of. Sorry. Is there anything we're missing, or like, are, are we biting off something more than we can chew? Are we good? Um, I mean, probably, but it's probably fine. I mean, that one guy gave us this mission. If he if he didn't think we could do it, would he have given it to us? I mean, he did just meet us on the side of the road. And knows randomly. nothing about you. Um, I mean, he must know that we're capable, right? Yeah. Sounds, sounds right to me. What's the worst that can happen anyways? Right. Yeah, what's the worst that that could happen? I mean, you had to say it. We're immortal until proven otherwise. <sighs> you guys are lucky it's only 20 minutes till 10 or I would start a combat right now. <laughs> <laughs> do it, you won't do it. Crawl it and tap go! Every bee in the Twitch chat summons a bee. <laughs> don't, Are we don't. right now? Uh... Well, I can have you guys wherever I want, and this happens. <laughs> I mean, Alice would very easily start a brawl at the tavern just because it's bored or something. Uh, no, I, I'm gonna hold off. Uh, you know what? Maybe on the la like last the day before um, the trip starts. Uh, you all go outside to see if you can find more potion ingredients for Renadol. Wait, can I find... Is there a common grade potion that, like, unparalyzes someone? Uh... Um... Is someone unparalyzed? You could yeah. probably... You know what? I'll have you roll. I can do that. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, we can we have some spells for that. I, yeah. That's true. Never mind. We're good. So let me uh, As long as I'm not the one that is, I can do it. Uh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to respond, Ray. <laughs> what you do? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. I'm just gonna have to rewind someone's stream here to see what was said. Uh, it was my thing was not on chat at the moment, so <laughs> so I didn't see what happened either. Uh, yeah, let's let's just use uh, this. Uh, Wait, let's we can just... delete our own messages and yeah, Andrew? yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Will be guys here. I let's see. Let's put you guys down here by the bridge. Uh, down here, not by the bridge, but just boom. Because people said do it, you won't. So I have to do it. We're fighting a queen Vespoid. I mean that's yeah. a option, Mister Stream Sniper. <laughs> so Stream nah. Sniper. If I'm just reading the chat. <laughs> uh. It's a good thing you don't know what that is. Uh, 
five-headed Vespoid. Yeah, exactly. Ew. That's way too big. No, you. we can't fight that. That's the final fight of this campaign. I give you guys a another Vespoid? spider to fight? No. No, a, a TMI Vespoid. Ooh. No, what happened is you guys were out and uh, going, looking at trees and stuff. Uh, Alimna uh, uh, said that he saw more herbs here. And, uh... Why didn't you pick them? You know, what could lead to more herbs? Lazy. Uh, well, they, they, they looked green, not red. <laughs> oh, that's right. We can make... Um, then you guys hear buzzing. Ugh. I walk away. I turn into a bird, fly away. Immediately. I'm already gone. I'm not I, involved. I, uh, I cast Jeez. Vortex Warp and bring back. You're not Shit. high enough level to fly. <laughs> oh, fuck. I keep forgetting. When can I fly, Mike? Level 8. 8? Gosh, damn it. Somebody set a timer. <laughs> <laughs> Set a timer to level eight. <laughs> okay, that should be proper. What is this? What are these? They look to be larger. Okay, so they looks to be the regular sized Vespoids, two medium size, Just ping and then a larger one. Okay. And then, because this music is not proper... Which one's the large one? The center one. I'll give it a color. Oh. Also, apparently there's Vespoids behind these trees, guys. You don't know that. God told me. Who's talking in your head now? Mostly God. Okay. Do you guys not hear God in your head? No. Nope. Giving you exposition about what's happening? Yeah, not usually. Damn. Guess I'm special. You could say that. I look, I squint my, I squint at you. Um, I think I'm gonna bring out the flaming sword again. I wish you I could concentrate on. Oh, I should. Oh yeah, I guess we're in battle, right? Damn it! Why do I always roll so middling on initiative? Me too. I'll take it. Well, Says the nineteen. They, no, I will. I will like support only so much, mid. I cannot drop a Zenogo on them. They cannot take it. <laughs> If it was the only thing, maybe, but it'd probably one-shot them. It's like twice their level in CR. No. <laughs> Mike, what do I have to uh, pay to have two concentrations? Um, I have to give you the special magic item. I don't care the teammate could take it, Mid. You guys were all min-maxers. <laughs> I am a... Lim knows. Like, uh, Team A actually legitimately didn't let monsters have a turn, Michael. <laughs> Again, we had infinite healing on Team B. Of course we could take it. The ultimate DPS versus the ultimate tank. Who wins? How high are they off the ground? Voices are screaming at each other in my head. I don't know what to do. Uh, they're, they're probably a, about on ground level. Okay. So then I will cast... These are mud wasps. That. Yeah. Nice. I... Good call. Uh, all three of them have saved. Okay. Damn. Bad call. <laughs> no uh, 
Yeah, they're still in there, right? Just set it on fire. They'll take extra fire damage. I will spend some sorcery points to quicken fireball. two sports points. I don't uh, he can't quicken fireball. Shut one, he's God. one that's level five, not level four. But two, Shit. he's already cast a spell, so he can't cast a leveled spell as a bonus action. Uh, technically, with my rules, I guess he could, because that one didn't ca uh, deal damage. But default you, rules. Even if I use sorcery points to quicken a spell? So you can technically, by my rules. Okay. Default, you wouldn't be able to, but because of my rules, you can, um, you can cast a spell as a bonus action and an action as long as one of them does not damage, which the web does not damage. That's a f okay. interesting combo. Uh, da, I didn't, didn't you, have him targeted, so I, no, you I did have, not realize that the... The web, it still had him targeted? Yeah. I would be trying to do that to whatever one's the bigger of them. Which is the center. So uh, go ahead and untarget them if, if you have a, and then just target the one. It. Okay, yeah, I'll just, just do it not consuming a spell. Yep. Slot. And I'm assuming and I, this is I a fire. fire. Yep. Yeah, since they're in the web. Go ahead, roll the attack. You do hit. Go ahead and roll the damage. And then... They'll, they'll take... It, it, I'm going to roll... It's 2d4 for the web. It doesn't necessarily mean they're going to take it, but I'll just roll it. Yeah. So, six. So, that says the web is igniting? Yeah. Okay. So, 25... Yeah. Man, why did the web work? I was hoping it would. Your solitude has altered your judgment. The, uh... It only so it says any five foot cube of webs exposed to fire burns away in one round. I don't know if okay, it would burn so when, all of those. It would just do the queen. Yeah, it would do the web uh, of the queen right now. Okay. I was hoping they were low enough to the ground that the web would just stick them to the ground so they can work across the floor. They don't want to be on the ground. They have a zero movement on the ground. Well, it's, yeah, but you said they were... They were within... Closer. Yeah, they were close, and that's why they still had to make the save and whatnot. Because uh, they still could have been stuck to the ground. Um... And... I feel like I might have possibly pissed this thing off now. So... Why is it not letting me do this? There it is. Uh, move a little bit out of the way. Hey, my turn. Kenny. All right, I'm gonna steady aim for my bonus action, and I'm gonna fire a crossbow bolt at this guy in the web over here. Okay. Uh, you would have sneak attack because you have advantage. Does that it, it hits the vest void normal damage? Fifteen piercing damage. Okay. It auto takes uh, the damage, so it. Do I want to move out of the way? You of... can't steady aim. That's, That's a good zero. call. End my turn. Buzz, buzz. <laughs> I like that te that web template though. Let's see. Let's go from left to right to down. One, two, three.
Did the queen take the second dose of damage? Yeah. Oh. Trust me, she is really hurt. Uh, Alistair, I need a save from you. Because it stung you. But what if I don't want to? You can fail if you want. <laughs> no. That, that, use, that's not what I meant. Use your press <laughs> success. Yeah, I, I was trying to keep it for trying to tame a, a, a cobalt, but it never... <laughs> that's <worked>. so gross. <laughs> <laughs> so! Shit, no. Do you guys just see Alistair fall to the ground? Uh, he falls prone and paralyzed? Yeah. Damn. Well, he's at least paralyzed. I'm not going to make him fall to the ground, but he's at least paralyzed. Like, locked in a plate. You see him get sting and then he just locks up. Um... He's fine. And then... Abner. Um... I'm going to... Step. Back here. He's gonna get a, a sting of opportunity. Hits. Fun save. Yep. It should have popped up, Ooh. but then it might just want you to click it. Yep. Okay. You pass. So it didn't sting me, or I don't go down. You you don't get paralyzed. You still take the damage. You just don't get paralyzed. How much damage is it? Uh, it was ten. I think you can just hit the, up, the, check, the mark. check mark. Yeah. Yep. It should okay. auto pull yeah. it from you. Yep. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna use my reaction since it stunned me to Hellas rebuke it. Go ahead and target it, and then hit Hellas rebuke. If you target it, should make it save automatically and probably what, uh, fail. What was the target again? T if you're hovering over or double right click. Reaction again. Oh, it succeeds. So it takes uh, half damage and uh, dies. Alright. Well, that was my reaction, so. That means you don't I... get one until the start of your next turn. Yep. I'm going to target with my action, I'm going to target. Uh, the Queenie. Uh, and I'm gonna use my inspiration to give you disadvantage. Oof. Damn. Uh, it's a it's a spell. Uh, it, if it's a saving spell, I will try to have advantage on it then. Depending on what you do. I am going to cast uh, Brimstone. Okay. Ooh. So, go ahead and put that in chat. Um, it is a save. I, I know what HP it was at, so if I have to, uh, let's have her remake that. So she did save, but I think it is only for half damage, so she would have died anyways. And so, there's a brimstone in that spot. It emits a 15 foot uh, around it, and anything that starts its turn in there will take uh, 2d8 fire damage. But it gets okay. a con save to negate it. And that will end my turn. Okay, so con save to negate it. Yeah, do you. Uh, do you want to put a symbol or something in that spot? Yeah. It's 15 foot from there. So that failed. Um, I'll just 2d8. 2d8, because it upcasts it. Yeah. 
Uh, do you want to re-roll that? Could it rolled whip the um thing? But you rolled really bad. You rolled slightly better on that. Okay, so. Just now get to the closest person and uh, make a sting. Let me just put this on that because that definitely wasn't. Um, ooh, what's that? Hold on, they have more. Okay. Oh yeah, it uses a bonus action to move up towards you. And then it's going to uh, sting you. Which it has advantage because you are paralyzed. And it still missed you. And then it should use its actual speed to just fly back. This way. Move there and then let's move 10 feet up. Ran a doll. Oh boy. Um, fuck, I ran away. What a bitch. Uh, it stung and missed a paralyzed companion. Uh, damn. I wish I had a potion to give him. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, spell, I'm gonna cast Flame Blade. Actually, how far? Control? Yeah, if you can if you hold down control by the way and move about you can click left click. That's too far away. I'm going to cast flaming sphere and ram it into the the thing. Uh caught in the webs. Oh. Uh there's nothing caught in the web, so you missed. What's He's in, he's in the, he's flying above the web. He didn't get stuck. Okay, I know, I, okay. It succeeds, so it took half ramming, damage. Ramming this thing. Oh, it actually targeted it, because I clicked the It was in the area, on it. yeah, yep. That's cool. That makes it easy. I don't have to fucking target things on purpose. Which... Oh, it took. So the um, it took the damage. The webs are on fire too, right? Uh, did you hit? Eh, I guess. Let me roll the two D four. Hell yeah! I love this web spell. Uh. Uh. Actually, this thing is, uh, I guess it has a chance, it has a con save to survive. Really? Well, no, just in general, it has a con save, because if, if it hits its turn, it will die to the brimstone if it doesn't pass its con save. Oh, <laughs> what a good combo. We're good at this. End turn. Okay, let's do this con save. Oh, hold on, can I move in for, sorry. Can I, nope, can you I ended. For, shit. I meant to move in front of my ally. I forgot. Okay. Who's this fuck? Uh, let's do a one and a two. Uh, can eat one. You've been stung, Canny. Fantastic. And then it moves ten feet up its remaining movement up. I like how it flies past me and sting you. Hey, I, I rolled randomly. <laughs> it's like, that guy, fuck you. It, it, it dumb, it doesn't know what's going on. 
It's a quarter as smart as you are. Oof. Super smart. Super smart. Uh, can I That's have that right. con save, uh, Kenny? Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, it wasn't a prompt. Though. Yeah, it, it's being dumb. Just go ahead and roll it. It should continue to yeah. auto-do stuff. Once yeah, you yeah, roll it. Yeah. Constitution, saving, throw. Whoa. Yep, there you go. Oh, yeah. look! Let me just this sucks. Uh, mark another paralysis. This is the first time we've ever actually gotten, like, multiple is, people yeah. paralyzed. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys have once, and that's what caused you to feel these. <laughs> we've been really lucky with the paralysis concept. And that's its turn. Okay, so at the end of your turn, I would like uh, a con save to uh, see if you shake off the paralysis. Uh, oh, no. you are no longer pr oh, yeah. paralyzed. Nice. I am very mad. Limnos. Kill it. Uh, let's see. Well, it's unharmed. I don't know if I can kill it. I'll try, though. I'll give you one cast of Fireball. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I can't do that. I would love but to. But it must target your friends. Well, no, he oh, dropped darn, it directly I, on top. I've never shot it before and don't know how to aim it, and I missed the Vespoid. <laughs> yeah, he hits it in the 20... Like, he hits it down heel, so it only hits you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And with this one lone little flaming scar comes up and detonates. I will target it first. Ooh, Sacred Flame. It succeeds. Damn. So you you see it sting Canny, and as it, it starts to fly up, you throw a Sacred Flame at it, and it just misses it as it flies up. Gotcha. Well... That's all I got, really. Don't worry, guys. Kenny's next. I'm sure he'll nat okay. 20 to con save. Go ahead, Kenny, and give me that con save, because it's the end of your turn. Yep, here it is. I'm feeling a little bit shitty. You're unparalyzed as you, like, break oh, yeah. free. Oh, is it DC-10? Yes, it's very easy to not be paralyzed by these things. Oh, God. Uh, Literally, the, the RDM only... RDM does the nat 1 will auto-fail, nat 20 will auto-succeed on saves, and that's the only way he can get me on these. Because I have a plus <laughs> 9 to my con save. Uh, Mike, the one that yes. went back this way, was that the one that just came back up? Uh, no. The one that went back that, uh, there's one over there that you guys saw, like, sting Alistair and move back, and it was bigger. It was a princess. Uh, this one is, like, up high in the air, and those seem to be the last two. I'm gonna move over here, and I'm going to boomerang. And if it would have missed, I get a no chance to hit it. You you hit it. And killed it. Um, um five times fifteen. So twenty to here. Twenty five. Thirty-five. I'll yell back. I don't. I don't see any more over in this area. And add my turn. Those little ghost avenues. 
Uh, <laughs> um, can I pull out uh, a vial of uh, Vespoid poison and mm, drink it? Yeah. No, like uh, th throw it at the Vespoid and say, "Take your own medicine." You can try. Is it a contact poison? <laughs> I I feel uh, like it's an inject. You could probably assume with your nature in this, it's an injection poison because they inject it through those stingers. So, that's a no. <laughs> what would your druid Nick say? I don't know. Michael's not a druid. What did I? What, uh, what was that answer? What did that mean? Mm. I think that meant. Hold on, guys. Let's let's use all of our brain cells. Can I borrow the two brain cells for a second? If, if you ahead. throw the potion vial hard enough, and the glass shatters mm. on it, cutting it and then creating a wound for the poison to get into. Oh. You're a genius. Yeah, it, it's it's an ejection poison, which means contact so will to, not. I have to inject it using the glass shards by <laughs> yeah. throwing it hard enough. That's a great <laughs> idea. I do just, it. Okay. Just, do, just think of like doing a shidori with the poison. You gotta punch it I... inside of it and then break the. Uh... What is this? What do I roll? Okay, let me uh, ask that. Uh, this Dexterity. is what you're... no, because it's you're throwing something. So, Sounds like dexterity to me. No. You're not throwing something with the finesse or uh, throwing... Like, you're throwing um, something without uh, the finesse trait. So, it's technically a strength check. I just made you roll a strength check versus its AC. That's all. Um, I got a green check mark on that. <laughs> now it's red. Now I'm kidding. Um, Shit. You do. Sure you do hit red. it. Uh, <laughs> red check mark. And you deal one damage as the poison as you hit it, and the poison splashes on it and down below it. And I want you to make as That's you. Really yeah, it just gets bigger. Wait. The, uh, the glass shards don't inject the poison into it? I don't think so. That's disappointing. Let's cancel the DM. So now it does turn into a queen. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I take advantage of that free fireball you offered. Uh, Still don't know how to it... aim it, though. I joined the best voids. <laughs> I love how you said, let's cancel the DM, and everybody turned against you, Michael. I'll <laughs> um, Here, I'm, let, I'm, let I'm me show you. I'm nowhere near him right now, so... Let me show you what have. Mid wants you guys to fight. Mid wanted you guys to fight this. That's not okay. Mid. That's not okay. It's a um, nice fighter. I have my bonus action still. Um. Yeah. Hold on. Is this oh, so far away? I move my flaming sphere thirty feet closer. Yeah. How do I do it? Yeah, it had okay. that thing had like two hundred HP that mid wanted you guys to fight. We could take it. I mean, if you want to, let's go. Its claws only does three D eight plus five plus. A D6 of lightning. That's fine. I'm dead in one hit, so. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> you, you threw it up to hit this thing, so it's going to come down and try to sting I didn't you. Do it. it was Kenny. <laughs> Can't have stunk again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I matrix out of the way. So we, we need, like, to put the poison into a, a hypodermic needle. Yeah, and then let Candy use it. Like an EpiPen. 
We need an EpiPen. Or did you could dip it on uh, dots. No, we need to invent EpiPens. But instead of adrenaline, it's best boy poison? Yeah. Or, or adrenaline. That'd be great. Fuck. Or health potions? Oh my gosh. Holy oh, shit. Catch why the why best... are we investing in EpiPens right now? Catch the Vespoid. Be the Vespoid. Catch <laughs> Be the Vespoid. Uh, it is Alistair's turn. Alistair, you're unparalyzed. You're able to move. There's a fire orb near you. I don't like the orb fire. I'm going to run, like, below this... Um, yep. this point, I'm going to look up. And I'm going to do a very weird pose. And this, like... <laughs> copy, like, glowing copy of, my, of myself is going to start and, 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 like, come off of me. Just like in a shadow. But instead of being a dark one, it's, like, opalescent, almost. And, like, doing the ah. same weird pose, pointing at the creature... Just going to like, uh, uh, one part of its finger just flies to it, and I'll cast guiding bolt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something fun is, uh, you know how uh, stands have some imaging on them to make them more unique. Yours has like little mm. red patterns. Mm. What patterns? Web, web, like oh. web. As you guiding bolt it. Yeah, I just I just imagine Escalor right there. And you murder it because it has way less than seventeen HP. <laughs> the it. the maximum these things can have is eight. <laughs> oh, I forgot guiding bolt was forty six. Guiding bolt is insane. As combat ends. Great. I can't you wait for it. Lessened shadow of mine just like full I can't wait for uh, Alistair to need it because I've offered something to Alistair when he needs it and he hasn't had to do it yet. Oh, no. oh yeah, I haven't had a chance. And these Don't are things that gave you guys such a hard time, sir. We didn't say they gave us a hard time. They're just annoying. They're always following us. Can we take a shower? Can we all take a like take a Come bunch on. of showers? You have a charisma of eight. Do you think you take showers? That's I why just, I'm trying to take I just, a shot. I just use magic and clean myself. See, that's why the Vest Boys are coming after us. Because they're attracted to magic? I, I think they're... <laughs> <laughs> <Maybe> because... <laughs> Remember. And as, with... and after I clean myself, I just make Renadol look dirty. <laughs> Elimino sneaks into our bedrooms at night and uses so... digitation to make us appear dirtier. Prejudigitation has other effects. He can season you and flavor you. Hey. You think, you think it's dirt, but it's actually just the seven spices. Technically, it says you can flavor up to non living material, but I'd like to imagine you're flavoring his clothes and that's what's bringing him. Don't give away my secrets. <laughs> that's gross. No, it's flavorful. No. Is that why my cloak? Tastes like bacon. <laughs> that was giving why me some. Eat, that was giving why, me a mental complex. For some reason, why, why I are you eating your, eating your cloak? And I have no idea why. <laughs> you, ever, no. you ever taste the uh, uh, switch? Com the Nintendo switch cartridges switch that taste really nasty. That's what it actually tastes <laughs> like. You still keep eating it. And it's, hey, I find it weird, uh, but to I, I'm going to end the stream here. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, we should be back in like two weeks' time, if not a week. It depends on when people are free. Either way, I had a blast. I hope you guys had a good time. And I get to plan the next session because we are outside Baldur's Gate now and next. Uh, you guys can sleep off tonight, by the way. Um, I, I didn't want that to have lasting effects. You guys can long rest and then go on the, the wagons the next day. We need uh, to harvest the best points before we... I'll catch you guys later. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm in my stream. See you, man. And, uh, for the rest of you guys here, I want you to.